How's it going, guys and girls? Hope you guys are having a great week. So I'm back today, and it is that time of the month again, guys. It is time to talk about the games coming out this month in October 2017. Now, I have to say that October looks like an incredible month for gaming. There are so many good games coming out this month. I think there are three games alone that I'm definitely planning to buy. Well, here are my top five game releases coming out in October 2017. Kicking us off at the start is Middle Earth Shadow of War which is coming out on October the 10th on the PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. It is developed by Monolith Productions and published by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. Now for those of you that might not know this is a sequel to 2014's Shadow of Mordor, also an excellent game. It continues the story straight off where we left, picking up with Talion the Ranger of Gondor and the Wraith and Elf Lord Celebrimbor, who, for those that might know him, he's the guy that forged the Rings of Power. Now, at the beginning of the game, um, Talion asks Celebrimbor to forge him a new Ring of Power, and their goal is to take down Sauron by uh, forming their own army of Orcs and Uruks to take him down using Talion's Wraith-like abilities and his ability to dominate. If you haven't played Shadow of Mordor, I would highly recommend that you play that game first because it is a complete continuation of the story. If you don't have time to play the game, don't worry, I will be doing a story so far video on Shadow of Mordor to get you caught up. But I have to say that Shadow of War looks absolutely fantastic. Monolith projections have just made things bigger, grander, more epic in scale. The world is much bigger uh, than Shadow of Mordor. It looks beautiful. Uh, Talion is chock full of new wraith-like abilities. There's a new loot and crafting and progression system there in there. The nemesis system is back, but it's bigger and better than ever. Now, apart from uh, creating sort of rivals and enemies, you can also gain followers and allies, all part of form forming and forging your own army part and parcel of that is something amazing uh, called Fortress Assaults and there's a whole heap of monsters and creatures for you to dominate and ride and mount as well including Graugs, Caragors and Drakes. So Shadow of War is without a doubt a game I will be playing this month and it looks incredible. The second game coming out is South Park The Fractured But Whole coming out on October 17th on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Developed by Ubisoft San Francisco, it is a sequel to the 2014 the stick of truth the basic setting and premise for the game is that it takes place after the events of the stick of truth and the children begin a new adventure again set in the town uh, of south park in the colorado rocky mountains but this time becoming role-playing superheroes However, due to a falling out over Cartman's planned film franchise, this splinters the boys into two groups. Those who side with Cartman join Coon and Friends, while rival group Freedom Pals call for their own franchise, starting a civil war between the two groups. Uh, very, very, very much uh, sort of tongue-in-cheek, taking the mick of things like uh, Captain America Civil War. Now, the player again controls the new kid though now for the first time you actually have the option to choose the gender uh, of that character which will affect how other characters react to the player in the world the fractured but whole also features race customization which is jokingly labeled as a difficulty setting or a difficulty level slider the slider doesn't affect combat difficulty, rather it affects how the player talks to other characters and the amount of money that the player receives. As part of this whole superhero theme, it will actually feature 12 superhero classes including Brutalist, Blaster, Speedster, Elementalist, Gadgeteer, Mystic, Cyborg, 
a psychic, assassin, commander, netherborn, and karate kid. If this is anything like the stick of truth, it's going to be hilarious to play, and it's going to be a lot of fun to play. That game uh, came out of nowhere, and it was received so positively, and it did well, and it deserved the praise that it got. So I am definitely optimistic about South Park the Fractured But Whole. The third game coming out is Assassin's Creed Origins, coming out on October the 27th on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Developed by Ubisoft Montreal, this game is from the same team that brought us Black Flag and it is that alone that has me excited about this game. Now I have to admit, after Syndicate, I, like many others, were burnt out when it came to the Assassin's Creed franchise, so I thought that Ubisoft made the right decision to take a break and not release the AC franchise on a yearly basis. Now, it's only been two years since the release of Assassin's Creed Syndicate, but this game has been in development for about four or five years, and it looks absolutely beautiful. The setting is ancient Egypt, which is long overdue if you're a fan of the series, and it tells the story of the origins or the beginning of the Assassin's Brotherhood and the beginning of their conflict with the Templar Order, who could possibly be the Order of the Ancients that have been alluded to in the game. Now, like any Assassin's Creed franchise, there are going to be heaps of uh, cameos and sort of well-known historical figures including Cleopatra, Mark Antony, Julius Caesar to name but a few. Uh, players get to play as Bayek. Now he is an older assassin than we are used to. Bayek is in his 30s. He is married and actually the last of the Magi and is one of the last protectors of the royal family and a protector of uh, Egyptian traditions and way of life and it looks really interesting. Uh, now, the game looks visually stunning. It looks beautiful. It's a huge open world, and it very much reminds me and has elements of The Witcher 3, which in my book can only be a good thing. Uh, there are more story-driven side missions, that's what we've been promised, and we've been promised a living, breathing world. So this world is full of NPCs. These NPCs PCs all have their their own sort of day and night cycle, their own lives that they're getting on with. It's full of wildlife, dangerous animals. Uh, players can traverse this world on foot, on horseback, on camel, um, on sort of boats or on vessels or rafts, and it just looks incredible. Combined with that, the screen looks crisper and cleaner, and that's thanks to the clean UI. Gone is the god awful mini map full of of uh, little sort of icons. I'm very glad to see that that's gone. And on top of that as well, we have a revamped, completely revamped and rebuilt uh, combat system from the ground up, which is now based on a hitbox type combat. So it looks like the combat's going to be a lot more challenging, a lot more enjoyable, uh, many different kinds of weapons. And now to go with that, we definitely have uh, progression trees, we have customization. And we have a lot of RPG elements that are being put into the game as well. So I have to say, I'm super excited about Assassin's Creed Origins. I'm super hyped for it. I'm very optimistic about it. And I haven't been this excited about an Assassin's Creed game pretty much since Black Flag. So I'm really looking forward to getting hands on and trying out this game. The fourth game coming out is Super Mario Odyssey, which is set for release on October the 27th and will be available exclusively on the Nintendo Switch. Of course, developed and produced by Nintendo. It is an open-ended sandbox uh, exploration game, very much in the vein of Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, the basic premise of the story is the main character is Mario, so you will not be able to play as sort of Luigi or, or Yoshi or uh, Toad or any of the other characters. Instead, you play as Mario who goes on an adventure or a journey 
to try to rescue Princess Peach, who is kidnapped by Bowser again, who、uh, intends to force her to marry him. But players are not alone.、Uh, of course, we have Mario, but he is also joined by a new character by the name of Cappy, who's a、uh, a white top hat who can morph and change his appearance. Into any kinds of sort of、uh, clothing or hats that he sees. Now, as part of this exploration, Mario will、uh, basically travel the worlds or the kingdoms, as they're being known in, in a hat-shaped ship called the Odyssey. The Odyssey is powered by special power moons, which Mario will have to collect in each world or kingdom that he visits. Cappy gives Mario some new abilities as well, so he can be used as a projectile. Weapon. You can throw him out horizontally, vertically, and he can also do circles around you to cause area damage as well.、But、the most exciting part of、uh, Cappy's abilities are his ability to capture various objects and creatures in the world. Some of my favorites being that Mario can take control of bullet bills and use them to fly around certain areas of the map. As well, you can become a bolt of electricity to climb up electric. Wires take control of Goombas of different creatures in the world, and these will all give you different abilities, and they can be used in a puzzle-solving, platforming kind of way. But also, they can be used uh, uh, in boss battles and in combat as well. On top of that, as well, we have some really interesting new gameplay mechanics, including some 2D platforming sections. Which、uh, old fans of the series will definitely appreciate for that sort of nostalgia value, and there is going to be co-op play available throughout it, where player one controls Mario and player two controls Cappy. Mario Odyssey looks great, and、uh, Dante and I will definitely be picking up the game and will definitely be playing it、uh, when it comes out on October twenty seventh. The fifth and final game coming out this month is Wolfenstein Two: The New Colossus. Again, set for release on October the twenty seventh. What is it about October the twenty seventh? I have no idea. But this game is coming out on PC, PlayStation Four, and Xbox One. And Bethesda have confirmed that it will be available on the Nintendo Switch sometime in two thousand and eighteen. It is developed by Machine Games, and it is a sequel to the two thousand and fourteen Wolfenstein: The New Order. Um, it sets. It is set following the events of the previous game. Uh, where, to boiler alert, the Nazis won the Second World War. Now, players will get to play again as the same main protagonist, that is William B. J. Blazkowsk. 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 People will get to play as William B. J. Blazkowsk or B. J. for short, and the developers have said that they want to give his character.、Um, More sort of development, and they want players to not only just play as him, but to actually feel like they are him. So there'll be a lot more、uh, character development、uh, to come for BJ. Now the game is set in 1961, and it is set in a Nazi-occupied America, where BJ and the militant American resistance are trying to set up a second American Revolution against the Nazi regime. Now, if it's anything like a New Order, it will. Be heaps of fun to play. There will be a lot of really exciting elements, and also a really, really, really interesting backdrop as well. There are some new mechanics, including. Included in the game, including the ability to freely mix weapons for dual wielding, so you can wield a pistol in one hand and a shotgun in the other hand. Commanders are also going to be able to call in multiple reinforcements, and a hatchet will be a usable weapon for some more gruesome, silent takedowns in the game as well. We have seen some gameplay of Wolfenstein 2, and it looks great, and it looks just as good as the New Order. So it's definitely a game that. I am interested in coming out in October 2017. So those are just some of the games coming out this month. I'm sure I have missed a lot. There are many other games coming out this month as well,、uh, but those were my top five picks. Let me know what you guys think of them and what games you are looking forward to、uh, coming out in October 2017. Are there any games specifically this month that you are definitely going to play?、Uh, any games that you're looking forward to playing? Let me know in the comment section below. 
below. I'll be back again later, guys, with more videos. Please, of course, hit the like button as always to show your support. If you enjoyed this video and it's the first time you've checked out my channel and you'd like to see more, please go ahead, of course, and subscribe for more videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, please, of course, share the video. Please comment in these sections below. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, if you'd like to follow the channel and support it, please go ahead and check out my Patreon page. All right, guys and girls. Well, I hope you guys have a great week. Take care. And as always, happy gaming. Thank mm -hmm. you.